Hi, hello. Um, I'm just trying to like organize things today and it's proving harder than I thought it would be but you know so I'm just having some noodles in a bowl because um, I had no clean plates yeah and then I'm thinking I think I'm actually gonna dye my hair well bleach my hair see how the blonde turns out and if it's good maybe I'll go blonde for a bit if it's eh, um, maybe I put the crazy color, um, hot purple. Because this is the one I have. Um, so I usually use the Matrix Royal Purple, I believe it is. it is. But that dye is super hard to find. It's like it doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what's happened to it. Um, so I did buy a hot purple one um, when I wanted to have more purple because I'm feeling like, so here's the thing. When I have purple hair, I feel more like me. I feel more confident. So I feel like this is what I should do for my first day of work, which is tomorrow from when I'm filming this. And also it feels insane to be bleaching and dyeing my hair just like a couple of hours before I need to go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow and have my first day at work. Wow. Anyway, um, so I have my noodles. I'm gonna eat my noodles, they're quite hot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But also I have some parcels. So I thought we'd open them before we do much else. Oh, why is it so? There we go, there we go. Okay, cool. Ooh. Do I know what book this is? No. Let's see, let's see. Oh. So it's Inkblood Sister Scribe by Emma. Horse? Terse? I don't know. Um, it's this. Wow. Oh, wow. What's this about then? Oh. I don't. Ooh. A spellbinding edge of you see thriller. Inkblood Sister Scribe is a mystery steeped in magic and dark ancient powers that will appeal to everyone who loves books, libraries, and an all consuming page turning read. Oh, look at these end papers. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Where can I put this then? Let's see what the other one is because I don't know. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, why are they so tough? It didn't go all the way. Let's see. To hell with love. I don't know. It's pink. Barbie? It's not Barbie. Girl Goddess Queen by B. Fitzgerald. Ooh. <laughs> I'm loving the Barbie vibes, I'm not gonna lie. It's Barbie month. Well, is that finished now? I think it's like a week since. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. A bold, fresh, and enormously fun Hades and Persephone rom-com reimagining from an existing new voice and growing TikTok superstar. All right then. We'll see. Two new books. Fancy, quite hefty books. I like it. I like new books. I've not actually had anything about those big. But I feel like I've seen them around. I don't know. I like books. I'm gonna read books when I had a Watts earlier. Let's just, let's just 
into a knot. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this vlog is going to be, but there you go. Oh, also, where did I put the book, though? I don't know where I put the book, but I started reading the Spanish Love Deception, because why not? And so far, I'm not very impressed. So I think I read like four chapters. I'm not very far in, so I I need to give it time. Um, oh, it's someone from outside. Someone outside is screaming. Wow, okay. So I'm not very far in, but so far, I feel like they are whining and just repeating themselves over and over again. Um, so I will, yeah, I, I need to see more, but I'm not very impressed so far. You know, I'm used to like Paige Toon and Lindsay Kalk and, and Jenny Colgan and who else do I read? Ali McNamara, Alexander Potter, all of these people write Ah, chef's kiss, uh, rom-com, romance, contemporary magical realism, at least for two of them. And I'm so, like, they have set my standards very high for these kinds of books. So, so far, not very impressed, but we shall see. I'm not very far in, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it time. I will finish the book whether I like it or not I'm not gonna lie but there we go catch you later I have no words it happened I just realized I forgot to film when I combed out my hair and how blonde it was. Um, I'll see if I can insert a picture that's not me making a weird face because I did do one of those, well, like a couple of those, and said to my friends because fun. Um, so I put some hot purple dye in, and currently it's looking more blue slash green. So we shall see if this actually turns purple, uh, or if I'm now ha if I now have blue hair, or some form of I don't know. We shall see. I'm open to suggestions at, at this point, honestly. Um, but I'm blue da ba do da ba da. That's a very bad version. But that's also as much as I'm going to do, or I might get copyrighted. <laughs> Shucks. Oh, well. I'll see you later. Um, I, don't, I don't think it did what it says on the can, because I'm pretty sure my hair is blue. My hair is blue. And I used hot purple. There's no purple in it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but also it wasn't exactly what I was going for. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. A lot better. Mm hmm I like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> just to sum it up, I used this crazy colour hot purple, turned my hair blue. So I put on some Matrix Flamenco Fusia, which by the way is a lot, lot brighter than what it's turned out. The reason it's this dark, purplish, pinkish, I don't know what, is because it was blue in the bottom. It's close enough to what I actually wanted to begin with, so I'm pleased. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> I've been reading, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been reading this like to and from work and then like on breaks on at work. Yeah. <laughs> and um, mm, 
well. <sighs> oh, okay. So I'm just gonna go because I I took some notes. Very few short. I just took some notes because. I didn't have my camera with me. I'm not gonna go filming at work. I've just started, okay? I've just started. So, chapter 20. What was that? Like, what was that? What? Also, who the fuck has a kiss cam at a wedding? That's so freaking stressful. Why? Why? No, 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 no. No. Hi. You want to say no too? What was that? That's grass, dude. Come on, babes. Come, come help me say no. Come help me say no. Yeah. Hi. Um. So. Which is Winston? Winston likes cuddles. He doesn't like you when you can watch him have cuddles though, so let's see. Alright, so, chapter 24. It is, um, the sex scene as it were. Like, the only real smuttiness of it all. And it's, I felt so awkward. Not just because I was reading it at work and, you know, people were around. Um, but... <laughs> It was just such awkward sex scene. I know. It was like Sarah J. Masses in like um, I caught a Sil um, silver flames. That one. Oh well, there's several sex scenes in that book, but those they get kind of gross. Um, this was just awkward. Like no. Why? Why is this happening? I mean, I get that they're hot for each other and all that, but... Some descriptions are not needed, okay? Also, the way they keep calling each other baby... It's... No! Think of another nickname for each other. Like, another pet name. Because that was just like... Oh baby, you're so fine. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. Yeah, basically those are my complaints. So, in and of itself, the book isn't terrible, but it's not great. <laughs> like, like the characters in the beginning, the characters are just like, oh well, he must hate me, so I hate him too. And, and they just kind of goes from there. And then it's... But, like, if this dude hates you so much, why would he, like, say, I'll go with you to Spain to your sister's wedding? That just doesn't happen. I mean, she should have, like, figured out way earlier that he actually likes her. Then, you know, <laughs> long, long later. It's just so obvious that... You just want to smack this person's, this, this person, this, this character. You just want to like smack her a little and shake her up because it's so freaking obvious that he likes her. And it's so freaking obvious that she likes him, but she's too scared to admit it because of all the shit that went down with like her former boyfriend, like that was apparently her professor in college. And, jeez. So many things. Um, what else? Oh yeah, yeah, in the beginning, especially in the beginning, kind of in the later stages throughout the book as well, but mostly in the beginning, it's just all the... It's, it's very long-winded. And just complaining and a bit whingy. Sort of like me. Um, but not... <laughs> She doesn't have a cat, okay? It's okay to whinge when you have a cat. That's like, like, that's this cute. Yeah. I'm joking, obviously. Um, yeah. I 
I kind of expected more from something that's so hyped up. But maybe it's that sex scene that everyone's liking. I just don't get it. I don't. I'm not a prude in any way, but some things just feels forced and that felt forced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm gonna continue giving Winston cuddles and um, I don't think I have anything more to say about the book. Oh, if you're wondering, work is going well, um, but I'm kind of getting used to going into an office again. I haven't been going into an office for a while and uh, it's, it's quite tiring. It's quite tiring. I'm, I'm enjoying myself and all that. Um, but it's quite tiring so far, but yeah Thank you so much for watching. I don't know how I'm gonna do my outro here. Thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time until then. What do you say Winston? Take care And bye-bye